Hi cuties! We're starting off today's vlog in my car. I feel like this is where I feel the most comfortable, where I feel like myself, where I can tell you anything. I love a good car vlog. But this is gonna be a few days in my life. It is Tuesday, March 26th now. Tomorrow for Wednesday. Normally I have family dinner, but I'm actually meeting someone I've never met before after work. I'm gonna go get Indian food and I'm really excited. I do have her on my Facebook and I've got her number and I've got like her on all my socials so she seems pretty safe she does live in my area and she's a little bit older than me which fun fact most of my friends for some reason are always they're always younger than me i don't know why a lot of my friends i get from work and i seem to be the oldest in most of my jobs except for right now i've got a few people who are older than me but anyway for no reason i have just always had younger friends and I'm really excited to meet this girl tomorrow, but I'm also gonna try not to get my hopes up because I have definitely done this before where I've met a girl hoping that we would be friends and then things just don't work out. I was definitely the person who kind of ended, um, ended the friendship or I'm, I don't really know. The last time I met someone from the internet to see if we could be friends, I was the one who kind of stepped away from that. And I do feel really bad about that. Um, I do, I really do, but I think when you're meshing energies and you're looking for friends, you should never settle. And sometimes people just can't really offer you what you're looking for in a friend at that time and that's okay. You can't expect picking a random stranger and they are automatically going to be your best friend. It doesn't work that way, you have to vibe, you have to mesh, and we just didn't, I didn't think, so. But for tomorrow, I'm really excited. I'm really optimistic. We've been texting for a lot longer than the last person that I met from online. And truthfully, making friends does feel like dating doesn't always work out. They're not always who you think they're going to be. Or it's reversed and they don't like you and you're not who they thought they were, that you were, whatever. I'm rambling. But I have that tomorrow and then Thursday is Joe's 29th birthday. Joe's my husband. And we do have a cruise that we're going to in May. So we just kind of decided to take things slow for this year. Um, my birthday's in April and his is in March and then we have our cruise in May. So for each other's gifts, we're just going to chill. They're going to be practical. But I did get him a couple of Legos because he's obsessed with Legos. I got him the typewriter and then a fox. So I'm excited to give him those. Yeah, we don't have any real plans. I think we'll probably just work and then go to dinner on Thursday night or pick up his favorite sushi and just eat it at home, watch one of his favorite movies. I don't think we have plans on Friday. And then Saturday, we're celebrating Easter with Joe's mom and that side of the family. It is 1233. And I've got about 30 minutes left of my lunch break and about six hours left of my shift, five and a half. Um, but I'm drinking a mimosa Alani and I found this in my car. I got it from Meyer. And if you don't put your energy drinks in these, please, please start doing that. It is one of the best things that you can do. It keeps it cold. And also, you know how Alani gets really flat at the bottom? If you put it in these, that's not as bad. Oh my gosh, I finished a book when did I finish this? Yesterday. And I really want to talk to you guys about it. I finished Reckless by Elsie Silver. And what's so annoying is this is a part of a series. There are five books in the Chestnut Springs series. And I accidentally, like a dumbo, I accidentally read the fourth book as my first book in the series. But luckily they're all standalones. But if you're looking for a good spicy romance, oh my god. This is about Winter and Theo, and Theo is this like a hot country bull rider, and Winter is a very established, very prestigious doctor, and uh, they have a baby. I usually don't like unexpected pregnancy tropes in books because I don't think a child should necessarily be the reason that two people end up together, but in this case, it's not. And also, this is not a spoiler. All of that is on the back, but what's not on the back is the banter and the spice and like how good it is. I gave it five stars, which I haven't given a book five stars in what feels like a minute. I wore a gray sweater today because it is gloomy. It is doom and gloom. And I really wanna go on a lunch break walk, but honestly, it is so windy. And I just know that it's gonna mess up my hair. Is that bad? 
is that bad that I don't want to go on a walk because I don't want to mess up my hair but anyway um, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my lunch break get some energy because my energy is very very low I will see you when I get off of work. To be completely honest with you, Joe and I are probably going to get fast food on the way home because I forgot to lay out any meat. And yes, I could go to the grocery and just get something that's already thaw. But we already had a conversation in the car this morning that we deserve McDonald's. And I could use some salty fries and a crispy cold Coke from McDonald's. So that's just what it's gonna be and we're probably gonna eat dinner in the car because i don't know like we have two dogs and then our cat um and they're always like so ready to eat when we get home we always want to get in comfy clothes like we don't eat our dinner in work clothes we just kind of put the house to rest and then we focus on dinner and sometimes i just want to eat so more than likely we're probably going to get mcdonald's on the way home we live in a different state than we work in i work with my husband if you didn't know that we work in a different state than where we live so probably gonna get some food on this side of the river eat it on the way home that way when we do get home we can just focus on the pets and give them the attention that they deserve because we've been gone all day and it's honestly probably gonna be a very chill night but I will see you when I get off work oh I forgot to tell you um since I did finish reckless by Elsie silver I ugh, I have this bag it was sent to me from htp books I don't, i'm not sure um it came with the book as well but i'm also gonna finish or read flawless this is the first book the one that i should have started with that's so annoying but i just think that all of these books are so so stinking cute I don't I honestly don't know what comes next I think it's heartless and then powerless and then reckless and then hopeless I don't know if you've read the series you can correct me but these look so good on my shelf and I still need to get I think it's hopeless I don't think I have hopeless or maybe it's powerless I don't know there's one of them out of the five that I don't have yet but since I read the fourth one first, I've already been introduced to the couple that's in this book. Um, they already live happily ever after because I messed up, read them out of order. But I'm excited to see who else are the love interests. So far, they're all bull riders. <laughs> so that's something new for me. All right, I'll see you after work. I am home, done with work. I don't drink very often at all anymore. Um, but I decided to have some wine. I don't know why. I think it's the pajama set that I'm wearing. But it kind of just makes me... It makes me want to have a glass of wine. And with Joe's birthday being in a couple of days, I'm going to let him open an early birthday gift. And I want to show you what it is. Okay. Oh my goodness. I think he is really going to love it. I don't already have it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it has a hoodie hoop. It does have a hoodie hoop, but you, you can't build all three of these. I know. Okay. Um, Stephanie and I actually had this conversation, as a matter of fact. That's really funny. Um, I'm going to build the fox because I really love the fox, but I really love the hoodie hoop too. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm actually, now I don't know which one I want to build because the hoodie hoop's sitting in a tree. You but this one has a tree. <laughs> you can always build both, like one and then do the other and then do Thank the other. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. 29? 29? 29? <laughs> Every time I turn the camera on, I have a freaking cough attack. They're watering and everything. <sighs> Lunch breaks go by way too fast sometimes. Hello, it is Wednesday. 
and I'm on my lunch break. I scarfed down half a sandwich and a little bit of mac and cheese that I got from the frozen section. I said I wasn't going to get my husband another gift, but he only has one thing to open for tomorrow. So I want to see if I can run into Barnes & Noble and get him maybe a little something. Depends on what they have, but I don't have a lot of time. Especially since I had that cough attack. Okay, let's go see what we see. He's not really a reader. So... I'm gonna look in stationery. I'm gonna look in the historic books and maybe the classics because he's a collector, but he's, yeah, he's not really, he's not really a reader. I'm supposed to be here for Joe, but I keep looking for myself. Should I do it? Should I do it? Oh, uh, unfortunately, we did not find anything for Joe. So the Lego that I have for him to open tomorrow is just gonna have to be enough it is enough and it was expensive so like i don't know i'm trying to get in the passenger seat because i forgot that i drove well that was a big bummer it wasn't a waste of time because it is nice to get out of the office sometimes but i would have liked to have found something else for joe but maybe it's a sign that he doesn't need anything else back to work. I literally work five minutes from a Barnes and Noble, but I never come because the books are so expensive. Ugh. Our book's expensive. Use your library, she says as she's trying to build her own library in her home. Obviously, I have to have books to fill my own library, but Barnes and Noble's expensive. I am filming this before I leave work because when I get to the restaurant, I'm not going to want to film anymore, but I am leaving work and i'm going to meet a friend that i've never met before for dinner and i'm so nervous i'm so excited i really want to have a friend out of this i don't want to be weird i don't want to overshare but i'm weird and i overshare so that's that's pretty much inevitable I'm meeting her close to my work because she lives closer to my work than she does my house. And uh, we're getting Indian food and I'm so excited. I will let you know how it goes. It is now Friday. I don't think I filmed at all yesterday. It was Thursday. It was also my husband's birthday and it was also just a really crappy work day but not going to get super into that because that is very negative and also I'm heading into work right now so just don't want to super think about yesterday. But after work we went to this place that serves Cuban food and it was so good. I had probably the best fish sandwich I've ever had in my life. It was so good. I want it again but this place is like nowhere near. My husband and I we went with his mom and his stepdad. Originally him and I were gonna go get sushi and go home and like watch the new girl episode where schmidt turns 29 because joe turned 29 and we have been saying 29 like all day i can't wait to turn 29 but that's gonna be for another year but i do turn 28 very soon um but this morning we picked up coffee and had the conversation in the car of let's just go ahead and get sushi tonight after work eat it go home relax rot because we have, we have Easter plans tomorrow during the day. And then I'm hosting Easter with my dad and my stepmom Sunday. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't really hosted in a while. And I love my home, so I love hosting. I love like showing off the new things that we've done. Explaining the new projects that we have in line. And honestly, I don't love the cooking part of hosting. Uh, at least not right now in the phase of life that I'm in. But I decided that I'm going to pick up some Chinese and have that because I've been craving Chinese food, craving it. But yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting this work day over with and I hope it goes well. I just scarfed down my sandwich and chips on my lunch break so fast and I came outside and I kind of want to go for a walk, but also like, I just don't 
feel like it. For my lunch break, I'm either gonna go for a walk or start editing this vlog, but I think I am gonna end it here because as far as tonight goes, I pretty much just have sushi with Joe and then we might go to Aldi. And I might even make that a weekend vlog, start Friday evening after work and go to Sunday evening. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I'll end this vlog here. I don't even know what this week was, but I do wanna show you something. I have some incredible, incredible coworkers and they gifted me this mug yesterday and it says flourishing on it oh my god they saw it they said that it they they saw it they saw that it said flourishing they thought of me because i'm flourishing flourishingly different on tiktok flourishing with the difference is my handle and i really was going to just keep this at work but no like i really want to enjoy it and i want to see it in my mornings so i'm taking this home I'm pretty sure they got it from Target, but I just thought that was the most kind thing in the world. Aside from that and aside from my hangout date with Jessica, did I even update you on that? Oh my God. Surely I did. Well, just in case I didn't give an update, the friend date that I had on Wednesday night where we went to get Indian was so nice. We sat from 5.30 to 9. We talked about so much. We got really deep. We're definitely gonna hang out again. It was incredible and I'm really glad that I put myself out there and did that. And yeah, I just I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this vlog. It was basically a week in my life because it went from Tuesday to Friday, but I definitely don't wanna show like anything at my work on here because I really am trying to just separate work and life. I follow this girl, Jenna Han, on here. Jenna Hong? Jenna Hong? Jenna Hong on here and she does a work to live diaries because that's kind of what she's trying to start doing more of is having the mindset of I work to live outside of working. Outside of work, I don't think about work. I don't want to deal with work. That's kind of the headspace that I'm in. I go to work, I do my job, I do it as best as I can, I do it well and then I clock out and don't think about it again until I clock back in. That's the life I want to live. And so yeah, thank you so much for watching this week in my life and I am really Really excited to take you along my weekend. I love you so much. Bye cuties.